All right, welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. I have a message for those of you. I'm getting more so significant, like sun sign Libra, ascendant Libra, or just very significant strong placements of Libra in your birth chart. I'm, I'm more so getting like sun sign Libra, but anyways. So the first set of messages I have for you, I feel like for some of you, this is more so about, I guess, the perspective of how people are looking at you. Don't ask me when, where, why, or how it matters, but this is more so, I guess, maybe some of y'all are concerned about how people see you. Or maybe you just need to know the perspective of what people are thinking about you. I don't know. Whatever. So essentially what we have coming up is some of you, some people see you as that you're single. Some people are seeing you just all of a sudden like sporadically just become single. So maybe for some of you, you were in a relationship or you had, um, you were in a, uh, yeah, you were, you were in some type of commitment and then all of a sudden people see you just breaking up for no reason. So people are just seeing... I guess people just looking at it like, okay, that's kind of odd that all of a sudden you're single, okay? Uh, maybe you was just in a relationship like two seconds ago and now people are going to be like, okay, that's kind of weird that you're single now all of a sudden. Or people are going to want to know the reason as to why you broke up with somebody. So that could be how people are looking at you. For others of you, some people would be shocked to realize that your family doesn't really mess with you like that. Um, so I feel like, I guess if people discovered the truth, of the nature around like your family, your roots, or, or, or just your family familiar relationships, people would be surprised and shocked to know that um, your family don't really mess with you like that, or you don't really mess with your family like that, essentially. For others of you as well, too, it could be um, that you are being looked at as an individual who's broken up a, a happy home. Now, this could go in two ways. This could be an instance that, yeah, um, exactly what would come to mind initially is that some of you have slept with someone and caused a, a relationship to be broken up so you could have intervened and slept with someone who had a family already and you caused that individual's family or happy life to to be broken up um in other instances this could just be the fact that you have intervened being more so like a messy energy i mean the first energy is messy as well too sleeping with someone um but it could also just be a sense that you have intervened in someone else's familiar relation relations with with people who they have a family with and you've messed up a family dynamic so you may have not necessarily slept with someone but you could have been someone who did something um that caused a family dynamic to have discord disharmony and division you know like devil type of energy um i feel like for some of you as well too we have a sense that maybe some people could be looking at you if people if, it, if it's like i guess public awareness that you are dealing with some type of illness or something like that people think that you're lying about it right um or they think that that is something else so either they think that you're lying and you don't have an illness if you're saying that you have one or, or people are aware that you have one or whatever that you're saying that is wrong with you if there is something that um is going on with you or it is something that i guess would be aesthetically like that people can tell that something's going on with you whatever you're saying that it is people think that it's something else okay and then for others of you you could be not it could just not be obvious that you actually do have some type of health ailments um and you're not saying anything about it so let me just reiterate that one more time again so for some of you when it comes to your health and wellness you could be saying that you're ill and you're really not ill and this is how people th this is how people are looking at you. You could say that you have something and then people are like you're you're not really sick, you're not really ill. Some people could just be thinking that you're doing it for attention. And then for others of you, you could be saying that you're you're ill with one particular uh situation. So you could be saying that it's it's some this is the reason why you're ill. Or this is the way, reason why, you know, you're losing weight. Or this is the reason why your skin looks like this. Whatever it is. You could be saying one thing that is the actual uh, result of as to why something is um, going on with you. And I feel like this would be something that you would have some type of physical, like, symptom or something like that. that I think that's the word I'm looking for. Like, it would be something that would be blatantly, like, people would look at you and be like, oh, okay, yeah, this person is going through something um health wise so whatever you are saying that it is people are suspect that it's not that and it's something else and then for others of you you may not have you may not be showing anything and um but you you actually could be dealing with certain 
uh, illnesses that um, you would be aware of. You would be aware of and you j just other people just don't know that this is what's going on with you. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much all with those particular messages. Now down here, I'm getting some messages pertaining to the fact that for some of you, there is a situation pertaining to a pregnancy that's going to come out. Okay. So this feels like you could have lied about a pregnancy and the truth about this is going to come out. Now, for some of you, I'm getting very strongly, especially if you are a female, your man, your husband is going to leave you when he finds out that he is not the baby of this father. That's facts. He's going to leave you because y'all have already been going back and forth and fighting over this. And I got a very, 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 very strong female energy. Like there's a man who is ready. He is ready. Okay. He, he's, he's already checked out mentally. Okay. He's already been stressed about whatever y'all been going back and forth with. But once he gets that confirmation that this baby's not his or that you stepped out and had a baby with somebody else, if there's already a child that's produced from this, he is going to leave you. Facts. Now, for others of you, I just kind of feel like um, it's just more so a situation where it feels like a, the, a, the truth about you having a child outside of your relationship is going to come out. Now, this feels more like for the male energy, like male Libra energy, like the truth is going to come out. I feel like you've waited as long as possible to try to keep this covered up, but I feel like essentially like somebody who thought they wasn't gonna get ghosted or left is about to get left so I feel like I feel like for some of y'all males it really feels like whoever you are in a relationship with you about to leave this person and go be with whoever you had the baby with I mean that's just honestly what it feels like it feels like you're gonna choose the um the person who you had a baby outside the relationship with that's that's just really what it feels like um that's what it feels like it feels like a pregnancy energy. So it feels like you got someone pregnant. You hid this pregnancy from whoever you're with. So it feels like you would be in a actual, like, commitment with somebody. You would be in, like, you're either married or you actually have an actual, like, you know, you have titles with whoever this person is or other people know or associate you to be in a relationship with this individual. But whoever you have had a baby with, that either there's suspicions that you've had this baby with or people just don't even know that you have a baby outside of this relationship, it feels like you're going to end up leaving whoever you're with, wife, girlfriend, fiance, whoever this is, a common law marriage person, whoever this is, and you're going to go be, start a family with, um, or, or you're going to go be with whoever this um, person that you had a baby with outside of the relationship. It just, it just kind of feels like that's what it is. Uh, let me see if there's any additional messages.